what is freaking up you guys we are vlogging today i'm about to head to lauren and jeremy's house they're having a little pool party for fourth of july honestly it feels really really weird celebrating fourth of july when things are rough in the us of a right now i'm not wearing red white and blue I'm gonna support women and women's rights. So we're wearing pink today because this is what's really important right now. I don't even know how to talk about it because every time I want to talk about it, it makes me so angry and frustrated. But if you guys have been living underneath a rock, Roe versus Wade has been overturned, which pretty much means states are allowed to dictate if abortions are allowed or not. So we'll talk about this more. I'm actually running a little bit behind. We're wearing pink today. I'm wearing this cute pink set from White Fox. I haven't had a chance to wear it yet, so I'm super excited to wear it. So let's put her on. Also, I got this cute little bucket hat from Glow Recipe. So we're gonna have a little bucket hat moment today. So yeah. Let's get changed. All right, she is on. We're gonna finish off with a cute little bucket hat. I'm definitely gonna wear like a little skirt because I do wanna go to Krispy Kreme and get everyone donuts just because I feel like you can never go to a party empty handed. I wanna bring donuts. Hopefully they're open, they should be opened. But yeah, this is gonna be the little summer fit and then we're gonna bring some beach towels. I'm gonna wear a little skirt cover up. Let me grab that. I lied. We're wearing white pants instead because I couldn't find my beach cover up that matches this outfit. And I don't think I'm imagining it, but I thought I had it. And then I have these pink Gucci shoes that I just got. And we have some pink Gucci slides. So cute. Here's the full fit. All right, we gotta go. Hello, here's the full outfit. Just wanted to show you all really fast. All right, we gotta go. We're gonna get Krispy Kreme. Do three glazed donuts, three chocolate ice. Two strawberry filled. They're all out of their 4th of July donuts. That's okay. We got a lot of pink ones instead, which works out better since I'm wearing all pink and we're celebrating girls today. Not Matt though, Matt did not get the memo. Red, white, and blue he is. <laughs> Ooh, they made it look so pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, beautiful. What? Oh it, oh my God, are those crumb. Oh my. I will take this one. Oh my God. We got snacks. We got Mia. Oh, I've had this for like three months now. It's like more low key and it feels like. It feels like a little retro, a little. No, it's just for the vibe. We do have some red, white, and blue snacks. The majority of us are not wearing red, white, and blue. We got pool pong. Oh my God, is this hip? If you know, you know. The famous hippo. Oh my god. Hi, hi, Moosey. What are you doing here? You're hiding. Whoever brought these, I'm so happy. Oh, these are so good. Hey guys, so it's been a few days since 4th of July. I know I did a shitty job. Literally vlogging the entire night, but I literally had so much fun. I just completely forgot to vlog. At one point, Mia was literally bench pressing me. She just oh dropped her <laughs> onto this. Let's go. <laughs> Honestly, it was so uncomfortable, but like I could not believe she actually did it. She did it three freaking times. So Mia, shout out to you. And it kind of inspired me to like step up my workout game and start working out. Besides the point, what else did we do all night? We hung out with Hippo the entire night. If you guys don't follow Hippo on TikTok, he is a famous dog. Uh, he became TikTok famous. I freaking love him. At one point, Lauren and I were just laying on the floor petting Hippo at the same time while he was sleeping. He Tiffany is like... What? So that was really fun, but we ended up leaving around like 7.30 p.m. and headed back home to our spot because our neighborhood fills up with illegal fireworks every 4th of July. It's so fun and so beautiful seeing like the neighborhood come alive. It was really awkward celebrating 4th of July, especially with everything that is happening right now with Roe v. Wade. And it's really angering and really freaking frustrating. I have personally am fortunate enough where I have never needed a reason to have an abortion and I don't ever plan on having one. But just because you don't plan on ever having something or wanting to do it, or you don't even believe in it, does not mean you should take away that right for other people to decide if they want an abortion or access to healthcare and medical care with that being said, I'm so proud to announce that I am partnering up with Favor for today's video. They are sponsoring today's video. They are formerly known as The Pill Club. I have been sponsored by them before. I genuinely believe in their product and their access to functional and efficient birth control. So if you guys don't know anything about Favor, pretty much you have access to birth control online. The fact that you can go online and order your birth control without ever having to worry about being late or having your birth control run 
run out is just amazing. You also have access to the morning after pill. It's literally delivered straight to your door. I love that it's discreet because right now with what's going on, you probably don't have access to birth control that's discreet or plan B or whatever you need. So Fera carries over 120 FDA approved birth control. Most brands of birth control are going to be completely free if you guys have insurance or Medicaid. If you guys don't, it's going to start as low as $6.99 without insurance, which is so inexpensive. And not only that, every Every single box includes self-care items, which I think is so fun. It's like my favorite part of seeing what's inside my box. They also have a licensed medical team. So if you guys ever have any questions about your birth control, you guys can text them and they'll get back to you. And not only that, you can sign up for birth control literally in five minutes. You can skip the wait at the doctors and it's just so much more convenient. Like I wish this was a thing when I was 16 years old, trying to figure out a way to get birth control without, you know, having people find out. So yeah, if you guys want to check out how to get birth control, go to heyfavor.com slash Tiffany for every person that signs up using my link, they'll donate $10 for every single person who becomes a patient. And your donation will help lower income individuals get access to birth control via bedsider.org. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, because I think it's really, really important for me, we're going to do some fun stuff, change our minds a little bit. Right now I'm headed to a White Fox event. Callie is also with me. She's also wearing green. I'm going to take her to White Fox and we are going to get my ears pierced today. I already have ear piercings, but I'm going to get another hole pierced and I'm so excited. I'm so excited this is like the craziest thing I'm doing this I'm so crazy you know so crazy I've never really gotten any piercings other than the one I don't really have tattoos except the one shitty one that I have so I'm excited to do something a little bit more edgy with my look and maybe have more earrings but we're gonna start with just another set of piercings and then we're gonna start decorating the ears a little bit better but I gotta call an uber and we're gonna head over baby boy make the money stack tall right now make the make the money stack tall Just got to White Fox. We're about to get our ear piercings. Lauren wasn't originally gonna get one, but both of us are now gonna get ear piercings. Say goodbye to one hole. We're gonna get two holes. Oh, wow. That was when I was 16. I got a tattoo. Yeah, in someone's garage. Oh, that's why I got my garage. Garage and Oh, that is bad. <laughs> Actually, my last name. The Jersey? Oh, New Jersey? No, no, no. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. And this, he slammed heroin. No red flags went off. And then I have him do my last name. He left out a letter. I did not know. He tapped me with it. So I was like, hey guys, what does it look like? They're like, yeah, it looks great, but isn't there an M in your last name? No. What's your last name? Awesome. How do you fuck that up? He is up. If somebody starts doing drugs before they're doing maybe your tattoo, not. maybe say, you know, Wait, maybe for you. nothing happens good in a garage. I just got home. You guys want to see the earrings? These are the earrings. So cute. Look how cute they are. They look so freaking good. Brian was amazing. I had no idea who Brian was before today, but I can tell why he's so famous for doing piercings. He's really good at it. Honestly, pain, no pain. Hmm, that's a lie. It definitely hurt like the second it was going in, but it wasn't a pain that was like unbearable at all. I was really nervous about the ones higher up here because I've heard stories of those ones hurting, but honestly, that was not bad. So yeah, Matt is making us dinner right now. He's making us meatballs. He's never made us meatballs before. Ow, it's caught in the ears. This is the only painful part is when my hair gets caught in it. So yeah, I'll update you guys about the ears. Hopefully it doesn't get infected. I don't think it's gonna get infected at all. Mia and like Alicia and Remy apparently just got piercings in all 
all of their piercings were infected. This is what I'm hearing from Lauren. So I'm like nervous that mine is gonna get infected. I hope it's not. I'm gonna make sure that for like the next few weeks I don't sleep on this side of my face. Originally, I actually wanted them in my right ear because I sleep always on this side. I didn't want to put them in this side. So I put them on the left. But next time I get ear piercings, I think I wanna put it on the right. So in 10 weeks, I have to go back to Brian's tattoo parlor and get the ears checked out and like make sure that the earring posts are shortened. And then I was thinking of maybe like paying to get more ear piercings. Today's been a weird day so far. I had therapy this morning that was pretty emotional and then the White Fox event was a little emotional, but that's a whole other story that I don't feel like getting into. But yeah, I'll update you guys when Matt finishes making dinner for us. You know how I said Matt was making homemade meatballs? You guys are not ready to see how beautiful these meatballs are. This is a beautiful plate of pasta. Homemade meatballs? Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, I win. I win. He's a 10 and he makes homemade meatballs. What does that make him? I think he's solid like husband out of 10. But I am in love with these meatballs. You wanna make babies, Matt? Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm on birth control. But we have some homemade meatballs. I'm excited. This is so pretty. Can I try a meatball or should I wait till you're here? Yeah, here Moment of truth about these meatballs. Mmm, <sighs> those are really good. Wow. <laughs> I live with a chef. Did you try the meatballs? They're really good. Glad you like them. I love how you plated it so pretty. Gotta have presentation. People eat with their eyes first. Yum, thank you. Hello. Hello. Hey guys, it's been a few days. I figured I would cook for you guys today. I have not cooked on camera in so long and I wanted to show you guys one of my favorite recipes to make. I haven't made it in a minute. I normally don't do it with mushrooms. Normally I just have cucumbers on the side with this dish, but I don't have any cucumbers on me. So we're gonna have mushrooms instead, but I wanna make sure the mushrooms are cooked. So we're gonna stir fry the mushrooms. I have about one, two, three, four. Sir. I have eight mushrooms and I'm just gonna slice these. Right now I have I have my cast iron heating up on the stove and we're just gonna make chicken with mushroom stir fry with this sauce that is so freaking good. It's pretty much soy sauce with sriracha. I like to use the chili garlic paste from the same brand that makes sriracha. A little bit of sugar, a little bit of limes, and a lot of garlic. We're just gonna cut the mushrooms up. Okay, I have the cast iron nice and hot. We're gonna add some oil. So while this cooks, I'm actually gonna make the rice and we're just gonna watch this until it's nice and soft. Okay guys, so I just made this little mixture. I totally forgot to film it, but what it is is honey with soy sauce, a little bit of sesame oil, and a little bit of garlic with sriracha. It's so good. I'm gonna pour this on top of the mushrooms and the zucchinis. I ended up adding zucchinis because our zucchinis were going bad, so I needed to start cooking them. So yeah, let's add this to our mix. I wish I was Remy with that gigantic kitchen island. I don't have a kitchen island, so it's like hard for me to show you guys when I'm cooking. Today we're just winging it and trying to figure it out. I'm gonna pour this mixture. And then we're gonna add our chicken and cook that for like five to seven minutes on each side. I need to show you guys how pretty this looks. This smells so freaking good. I'm gonna let this simmer until it turns into a sauce, which will be a couple more minutes. Okay, it looks kind of disgusting, but I promise it's so freaking good. We're gonna eat and I'll leave the recipe down below for you guys. Hello guys, it's Tiffany right now. Duh, it's Tiff. What am I saying? So I just had the most jumbled morning all morning. Um, I need to take Zoe to urgent care 
and it's literally breaking my heart. So I called urgent care this morning at 9 a.m. They told me to come at 2 p.m. instead because literally they are so backed up. But Zoe's had a bad eye for the past three or four days. Last week, Callie noticed something was wrong with her eye and then I saw that it was like super red and I figured, okay, like maybe she just got into something, it'll go away. So I bought saline drops. I've been putting them in her eye. But Zoe's eyeball, oh, it actually looks, where does it look fine now? Zoe, what is your, oh, it's not fine. It's not fine. We just put saline drops in her eye, so maybe that helped a little bit. But this eye is super red in the whites. Um, I don't want to open her eye because it's super sensitive. As you can tell, like this eye is closed a little bit more. Oh my god, it hurts my heart. Oh, it's still so red. <sighs> um, right now, I don't know if you guys can see, she can barely open the left eye. Like, her right eye is opening just fine, but she keeps closing them. But I'm going to take Zoe to the vet in like an hour and a half. But in the meantime, I'm going to get ready because I'm actually going to go to the house. We are doing a bunch of things at the house, and I know I need to do an update. But an update is coming. I'm just making sure I have enough footage for an update. Just because I am no longer working on the house because this is past my point of expertise. I don't know how to frame houses or do plumbing or anything like that. So I'm just gonna be giving you guys updates every week. Oh, you see how red it is? It's so red. Zoe has this tickle spot that I am obsessed with tickling. Um, it's like nonstop movement. Like, look at this. <laughs> All right, I just changed. Um, I'm gonna head to the house and then I'll update you guys in a little bit when I'm home. Hi guys, I just got back. From the house, it's looking so good. I can't wait to share it with you guys. Right now, I'm making myself my favorite lunch, which is the 50 cent lunch I make myself every few days. I used to eat it every day, but it's not the healthiest meal, but it's the most delicious lunch ever. And I realized I just love eating Asian food. Like whenever I cook for Matt, it's always Asian. Like I showed you guys the other day, it's just, it's just always Asian food. So I'm making myself the meagering noodles with a poached egg on top. And I add a splash of chili garlic crunch from Trader Joe's and a splash of lemon. Actually, a lot of lemon. I do like 10 squirts of lemon because I just love lemon juice. Look at that beautiful poached egg. So it's like 12 p.m. right now. I have another hour and a half before I take Zoe to the vet because they didn't want me to show up until 2 p.m. So we're going to do that. Let me just show you guys this beautiful poached egg. Look at that. Oh, come on, Zoe. Let's take the first bite together. Mm. Shut up. It is so good today. Wow. The egg is so creamy and savory. There's a bit of spice and lemon. Hi guys, we are on our way to the vet. She's been squinting all morning, um, even more than normal. So I'm happy we're finally taking her. Hopefully everything's okay. So I just gave her to the vet. Oh my God, she did not want to go inside. But her eyes are so red. I'm so sad. I don't like this. If this says anything, like it feels like having kids and being this worried about them, I don't think I want kids. I do not want to be this worried about kids. So if I can see the corneal damage without a stain, then why do I want to stain the eye? And I can already tell you right now, 100%, I want this little girl to wear a hat. She must. <laughs> wear a cone collar. Okay. Hi guys, I just talked to the vet and it looks like Zoe has a corneal ulcer, which is what we thought she had. And it doesn't seem like it's too bad, except she has to wear a cone for 10 days, which is gonna be so freaking adorable. I'm super excited to see her in a cone. So we're about to pick her up. She has a very expensive bill. It's $440, but she's my baby. She's my baby, so it's worth it. But yeah, take care of your babies so they live forever who I'm with. Look at Zoe, she is here with her cone. And I bought her some treats. So this is a peanut butter cranberry popsicle from Just Food for Dogs. And I got her a peanut butter banana blueberry one. She loves this one. So we're gonna give her this once I'm at a stop light. Zoe, you can't get it till I'm at a stop sign, I'm sorry. Oh, I, she keeps pressing her freaking cone against me. It's so cute. I don't like the fact that she has an ulcer in her eyeball, but I do love the fact that she looks so cute in her freaking cone. You want to? Oh. 
Hi guys, I am home with Zoe now. She's feeling better. It's so funny watching her run into things with her little cone on. <gasps> Look at her, Zoe! Okay, so I just posted a video where I redid my entire office. I transformed it for you guys and a lot of you guys had a lot of opinions on what I can change about this room and I know, but this room is such an awkward room. This is the reason why Matt and I just our bedroom situation was always so awkward because this bedroom has four doors. Technically five doors. One to the bathroom, one to the closet, one into the room, and then one literally out into the backyard. So there isn't really a full wall, except this wall is a full wall, except this wall. Because of feng shui, you actually don't want to like walk into like your seating area or your like, or your bed. So like for me, it just doesn't make sense to have like the seating area on this side of the wall. Also, I do want to get rid of these Ikea shelves like I mentioned in my video, except right now they're convenient because they're actually holding stuff that I need but I do realize I actually don't love them. But I am gonna do a proper transformation, and until I do that, I have to kind of keep everything that I already have. I don't wanna spend more money on anything, um, just because I already have all like the furniture pieces I need for this room. But I do wanna lime wash these walls. I'm super into lime wash, I think it's beautiful. So I wanna lime wash the entire room, except that is gonna be a definite project. As of right now, it's just an awkward space. Like this bedroom is just an awkward bedroom. I will say I absolutely love working in here. I love what I did. It's not perfect, but a lot of you guys had some interesting opinions and I get it, I get it. Like. I just don't think maybe when I filmed it, it looked as cute as it actually does in real life. But like in real life, it's so cute. It's so cozy. I love working in here. Oh yeah, update on the ear piercings because I know I talked about it earlier. It's been about a week and a half. No infection, no crusties. Honestly, this is like the cleanest piercing I've ever gotten. Granted, I've only gotten two piercings in my life, but I do remember getting them re-pierced when I was like maybe 10 and they were super crusty and grimy. These guys, no crust at all. I've been washing it every single day. It is a little numb, but other than that, it feels really good. But yeah, that is it with today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys made it to the very end of the video, comment down below. I hope Zoe feels better. If you guys comment that, I'll know you guys made it. Again, huge thank you to Favor for sponsoring today's video. I think it's really important to talk about birth control, especially in America, and especially with what's happening with Roe v. Wade. Like, I feel like we're going back in time, and I, it really makes me sad thinking about it too much, but I am a huge proponent of pro-choice and making a decision based on your needs and your body. But with that being said, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, you the best part of every single day Oh, no matter what I do I'll be lost in you